guys, welcome back to this week's episode. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a series, okay? This week's episode of Cooking in Kits Studio Cookbook. Now, we have pretty much done all of the dinners besides the carrots and the apple cushion. Can't say the word. But today, we are making some bread pudding. Now, I don't know. I've never had bread pudding. I've talked to my aunt, my aunt Donna. She loves bread pudding, and she says it's bomb.com. So I had to make it. So I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need. You're going to need some salt, some vanilla extract, some cinnamon. Obviously, you're going to need bread. It's the whole recipe. It's going to call for cream, and heavy whipping cream is, is cream. My aunt said this is best if you use this. Um, a stick of butter, three eggs, milk, raisins, and sugar. I got the blended kind. I got golden raisins and raisins, and then there's also cherries in there. So, might be a little. I feel so, yeah, we are going to start. Okay, so what you're going to need is the butter first. You're going to need the butter, and then... You are going to need seven slices of bread. Is set the oven to 325. Oh wait, hold on. Preheat the oven to 325. I'm gonna grease my pan here. Because we're gonna be using this over here. And I'm just going to put the butter and eat. Crack your three eggs. Four cups of milk. So that's one sugar, which is a half a cup of sugar. Half of a teaspoon of salt. Half of a teaspoon of cinnamon here. A whole teaspoon of vanilla. You're going to do a half a cup of your raisins and then you're going to put your egg mixture and then you are just going to pour it. I swear I make a mess <laughs> into your pan here. And I'm just going to get all these raisins here and just spread them out throughout. I think I'll put a little bit more on here. And let this soak for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it soaked for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes or until golden brown. And I'll check in with you guys when it's golden brown okay so let's read the little biopic they have here two girls standing in the bread line um bread and milk lines bread was inexpensive and helpful and filling so soup kitchens gave out loaves of bread to people in need some place also provided milk for children these girls carrying their free milk back to their homes in their buckets so they gave out bread a lot and it says right here where the bread pudding is it says instead of throwing out stale bread use it to make a delicious dessert waste not want not as aunt millie would say so this like i said oh i knew this was like i, I feel i said I'm like I feel like this is more of a dessert than a dinner because it was it was it was categories as the dinner food. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, it, I took it out of the oven and uh, covered it and then put it back in the oven for another thirty minutes. So in total, this is this sat in the oven for about an hour. And so with my whipping cream, I just whipped it a little bit, so it has a little creamy taste. Hang, let's. Let's try it. This is really good. 
feel like it's more like it tastes like more like french toast than pudding but it's really good i would eat this like for breakfast maybe obviously i didn't film an outro for this but i like the bread pudding it was really good um it's more i feel it's a, a dessert food than an actual dinner food so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching um you know follow me on all social medias at purple moose and i will see you guys later have a great day